Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So for today's video is I share ko sa inyo yung step by step process ng NNAS. Finally, nakagawa na ako ng video. So I know a lot of you guys have been requesting this kind of video but I'm busy ko lang talaga and I feel like hindi na updated yung ginawa ko na NNAS because I I made my NNAS account last 2022nd. I feel like um iba na yung process ngayon. Ang tagal talaga ng process ko. Like, I opened an account by January. Nagsisave ako ng money para makapag um, process ako ng NNAS and makasubmit ng mga forms sa school, sa nursing registrations ko. Nag-iipon talaga ako ng pera guys para may pang-process ako ng paper. So, um, nasubmit ko lahat ng documents ko, identity documents ko, nursing registration forms from PRC and Saudi Council. Tapos sa school and then March until December. Wala talaga akong feedback from NNES. So, I think it took around 9 months para makomplete. Feel like ngayon, may option na siya na expedited service. Wala yung option na yan noon. So, so hopefully, um, may kinda similar process pa rin yung process ngayon and noon. Itong uh, na-screen record ko, ito yung current um, account ko na and I made a separate account para uh, makit makita nyo talaga yung step-by-step step kung paano ko siya finil out. Just a disclaimer guys, lahat ng sinasabi ko dito is based on my experience last 2022 and I'm hoping na relevant pa rin siya sa NNAS ngayon na process. So, baka may mga konting difference na lang and mga tweaks sa um, application ngayon but um, I feel like um, all in all same lang naman din. May mga naiba lang siguro na slide. So, ayun. So, before for anything else. If you're new here, hi, I am Fatima. I was an overseas Filipino worker and now I am currently a permanent resident here in Canada. And in this channel, I make videos all about my personal journey, experiences, living and working abroad for the past couple of years, especially becoming a registered nurse here in Canada. And if you like that kind of content, please support my channel by subscribing and clicking that notification bell icon so that you'll get notified whenever I post new videos like this. So, let's proceed! So, once makagawa na kayo ng NNAS account, go ahead and start a new application and just choose Yes, I Understand. Underneath it, you would see the different fees of different provinces of Canada. So, it's up to you kung ano yung preferred province of your choice. But in this video, we would choose the expedited service kasi mas gusto natin na mapabilis yung process natin to become a registered nurse dito. And based on my personal experiences, since ang alam ko is the province of Saskatchewan and province of Ontario, for this video, we'll go ahead and choose College of Registered Nurses of Saskatchewan. So once you tick on that, you would see a message right here. So it says you have selected a nursing discipline and province. This can be changed up to two months after submission of your order to a different province at no additional cost. Big sabihin that you have two months to change your mind to change uh, a different province at no additional cost. And if in case you'll change your mind after two months, may additional cost na siya. Now let's head on to personal information. So just input all of your personal information right here. Click on continue to education and click on Philippines under name of country where you completed your initial nursing education and then click no on the next um, question. After that, you have to input your school details. One of the important information right here would be the name of your school, the program start date, and the completion date, which is your graduation day. Right after that, click on save and continue to registration. So, so under here, we have to input all of the regulatory bodies, the countries, the jurisdiction where we have a nursing license. So, I'll just skip this detail and cover some of the information. But this is the summary of all of the licenses that I have. 
Once you're done, just click on continue to examination. This page would be your NCLEX details such as your number and the country and date of your examination. And then next page would be the type of examination which is outside of Canada because I took my NCLEX through the state of New York. And if, if sa past may um, other examinations pa kayong natake such as um, for me personally, I took the board exam in the Philippines as well as in Saudi Arabia. I also included it um, under add additional examinations. And if you're done, just click on save and continue and we'll go on to the next page. Under this page, it will ask you if you have um, registered in another Canadian province. So click on no, if not, but click on yes if you have other um, license in another Canadian province. I'll just click on no and then how many other Canadian provinces would be no other. Click on no and no to the next questions and no for the rest of it. So next page will be part E, which is the employment. Click on add your employment information and input all of the details of your past employee as well as the number of hours of working as a registered nurse for the past five years. So in the province of Saskatchewan po, um, within the last five years, yung kinakount nila. So if ever you don't have um, a recent RN experience in the last five years, just click zero zero in each year all these details will be verified to your employer once you fill out um, the information that to be sent to your employer afterwards so let's click on the submit the employer information it's going to look like this so once you're done just click on continue to payment and and hit on the make a payment button so it will route you to this page where it asks for your credit card information nakapagbayad na kayo, ganito yung maging mukha ng NNAS account ninyo. Makikita nyo yung part G, wherein doon nyo makikita yung mga forms na kailangan mong isubmit. So, dito sa NNAS may tatlong important form. So, after mong magbayad ng, ng fee, may makikita kang form sa NNAS account mo. And these three nursing forms are the nursing registration form, the nursing education form, and then nursing practice or employment form. So these are the three important forms na dapat mong iprocess. So let's start with um, nursing education form. Makikita mo sa part A na pre-filled na yung information na yun from NNAS. So makikita nyo na doon yung NNAS ID number nyo, yung given name, yung mailing address, application number, lahat na pre-filled na yan. So all you have to do on the part A is to um, sign it under applicant signature and in date sign. So, yun lang if you fill out nyo kasi na pre-filled na yung ibang information. And then, sa part B, which is the nursing education information as well as the part C, education dom domain breakdown, itong part na to is si school ang mag-fill out. So, all you have to do is go to your school where saan ka nag-graduate, tapos sila na bahala kung paano nila i-fill out yung um, parts na yon. And then after that, um, itanong nyo kung magkano yung singil nila sa pagpapadala ng form from your school going to NNAS. Kasi magbavary kasi yan per school. And personally, sa school ko, yung singil nila was 6,000 pesos noon. So, hindi ko na alam ngayon. Sila na bahala lahat. Like, pa DHL, wala na akong iisipin. Sila na lahat. So, the second form would be the nursing registration forms. Ito yung form na ibibigay mo sa lahat ng may nursing license ka. So, for me personally, may PRC ako, may Saudi Council ako, at saka may New York ako. So, lahat ng tatlo na yan, if gusto kong i-declare, isi-send ko tong form na to 
going to those respective licensing body. But it would also depend um, sa situation mo. Kasi may iba naman is Canadian citizen na sila or hindi sila PRC holder. So, they don't need to send it sa PRC. So, kung saan ka lang may lisensya. So, same with the first form. Yung part A na pre-filled na lahat ng information na yan, all you have to do is just review it. Sign under the applicant signature and under the date signed. And then sa part B, which is under nursing examination and registration information, and then scroll down, part C, identification of official, CPRC, si Saudi Council, or wherever jurisdiction you are licensed, sila na ang mag-fill out na yan. All you have to worry about is the part A. And same, depende na din yan sa regulatory body, kung saan kang license, kung magkano yung singil nila. Sa P PRC, I remembered it was also 6,000 from PRC Cebu going to NNES. Sa Saudi naman, pinalakad ko lang siya and I also spent um, 7,000. And then sa New York State, pwede mo lang i-endorse yung license mo. Pwede mong gamitin under New York State yung verification of license. Um, ilalagay mo lang yung information ng NNES. Or you could also contact um, customer service ng NYSED kung paano isi-send. Kasi yun yung personally na ginawa. Verification of license lang ginawa ko. Hindi ko na pinadala yung form na yun going to New York. And then last but not the least would be the nursing practice or employment form. So same, pre-filled na yung Part A personal information. Just double check all of the information if it's correct and then go ahead and sign it under applicant signature and date sign. And then on Part B which is employer information and Part C identification of employer, supervisor, yung employer mo na, yung previous employment mo na ang mag-fill out ng mga information na to. And then, sila na din ang magpapadala from your previous employer going to NNAS. Same, uh, tatanungin mo kung magkano yung singil sa pagpapadala ng form na to kasi it would vary where it is, kung saan country, and kung saan ka na-employed. And then, last but not the least, sa identity documents naman, makikita nyo dito na may sinabi sa handbook na mga identity documents na pwede mong submit in Canada is notarized copies must be prepared by a notary public or a lawyer. Acceptable um, forms of photo identification would include passport, driver's license, or other government-issued identification. So, personally, yung forms of photo identification na sinan ko or yung prinasas ko is yung passport and then driver's license. And since I got married, I also uh, submitted my a copy of my birth certificate and then my marriage certificate. And pinanotaryo ko siya dito. Ang nagastos ko sa pagpanotaryo was $50. Pagpapadala is um, I use Canada Post and nilagay ko lang yung mga information dyan, yung name, NNAS application ID, yung mga information ko sa envelope. So, it would depend kung saan ka, kung magkano. Hindi ko na maalala kung magkano ang binayad ko sa Canada Post. After nyo mabayaran and maipasa lahat ng forms, the waiting game begins. It took 9 months para matapos yung NNAS ko. But may mga nababasa ako na it took 3 to 6 months na lang ngayon since tapos na yung pandemic. So, ganito yung email na makikita nyo once um, nasa final step na kayo. So, once matapos na yung NNAS application nyo, usually nagko-comparable siya pag may NCLEX ka na. Non-comparable siya pag wala ka pang NCLEX. But even if wala ka pang NCLEX, kakapag process ka pa rin ng NNAS. Somewhat comparable siya if, if nag-RPN or nag-LPN ka. Don't worry kasi once matapos na to lahat, regardless kung ano man yung result niya, ipoport nyo naman siya sa um, designated Canadian province of your choice. Such as kung sa Ontario man kayong gusto mag-process, ipoport nyo lang yung NNAS ninyo sa CNO and if sa Saskatchewan man, ipoport nyo lang yung NNAS ninyo sa, sa CRNS. So, ayun. Ayun yung parang summary ng lahat ng ginawa ko sa NNAS. I hope it made sense kasi parang two years ago na yung pagpaprocess ko ng NNAS. I hope na um, klaro sa inyo or may idea na kayo kung paano i-start 
work yung application nyo sa NNES kasi hindi talaga kayo magiging RN sa some provinces dito sa Canada kasi requirement talaga nila yung NNES. I think there were only two provinces na ang alam ko, di lang ako sure, so don't quote on me. Ang alam ko si Nova Scotia and si Alberta lang yung hindi naga-NNES. Ito yung another mahal na pagpa-process aside from the NCLEX. Mahal talaga ng pagiging nurse dito sa Canada guys. So, ayun. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video would somehow help you on your NNAS application and your journey to become a registered nurse dito sa Canada. And lastly, 5K na tayo dito sa YouTube. So, if aabot tayo ng 10K, magpapag-giveaway ako. So, please don't forget to support my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell icon so that you'll get notified whenever I post new videos like this. Thank you so much for watching guys and good luck on your nursing endeavors. See ya!